Hi there, <clears throat> and welcome back. So, I've gathered up a tap that is, has a flat bottom. It's a 7 16 by 14 national course. And then I just went over and grabbed a drill bit that I could stick the non-business end, shank end, in the holes to the bottom. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're just going right down in rows. We're just going to stick this in there, push down with my hand, and turn. We're not trying to, you know, by hand we're not going to waller out the threads. We're just trying to break up what's in the bottom. There's usually some black oily carbon. Let's see what we can get out. Ooh, this one sounds crunchy. Can everybody see that? See that big chunk? Let me see if I can get you in here closer, huh? Sorry about shaking the camera. See that big chunk of stuff there? That'll keep a head bolt from letting it tighten down and just bottom out. Look at there. I know you probably just missed that, but it had went right up into the spirals there was so much. Go to this one. All right, let's back out just a little bit. You don't need to be quite so close. I'll probably speed this up because a lot of this is pretty repetitive. I've got to give me a taller stool so I can sit down and do this stuff, huh? And I guess I could turn the motor up. Maybe that would be better. You probably won't see as much. Well, let, me, let me give that a whirl, huh? The shaft here. There we go. Why don't we put it like this? There. That'll make your whole world a little crooked there. Let's uh, get you in here. I have a hard time because everything is backwards. I haven't gotten used to that part yet. All right, ha -ha. now I can sit down. Smarter, not harder. Story of my life. All right. Oh, look at that one there too, see? See what I mean? Just a ton. Just a ton. You know, the assembly part of stuff is easy if you do all the prep. Boy, it's getting kind of dark for morning here. We're supposed to have thunderstorms all day and all night. We're a little behind on rain, but they're talking two or three inches at one crack here. That's not going to help. Most of these were pretty clean, which is good. But you see, when we took this motor apart, it had a brand new head gasket in it. But they didn't do the valves, which is weird. They did the pistons. Had it bored, new aluminum pistons, 40 over. Had all the Babbitt done. And I suppose they just flat ran out of money. But at least three of those head bolts were not able to torque down. Don't worry, we're going to clean all this stuff out. Why don't I do this in a drill? Because you take a chance of getting a little off kilter and bumping the threads. This is just cast. You can tell when you're spinning the drill bit if you've gotten most of that. That one there is still spitting out. That's crazy. 
All right, so now we're gonna put on the safety squints. We're gonna blow these out. Next thing I'm going to do, so we can blow it out again so we don't get stuck back down the hole, I'm going to clean out the steam holes. Steam holes are these little, there's one here in the corner, one here beside this head bolt, one here between the cylinders, another beside the head bolt, another in the corner. This I am going to use a drill for, but I'm going to run it in reverse. Got a bit that's the next size smaller than a quarter inch, whatever that is in 64th, you, you go ahead and have at it. That one, I'm going to be honest, we had to turn it around. Just, just don't get carried away, okay? That one there was pretty closed up. So scratch the running in reverse, so you, you know, you can when you're done, I guess. Yeah, let's do it then. Don't listen to what I got to say, okay? Right? It's like the feller from Vice Grip Garage. I love the first thing on his videos that says, I'm an idiot. Only do this out of desperation or something like that. That's hilarious. Hilarious. These steam holes are super important. Okay, so they're all open. We'll do the same thing on the head. Okay. Let's put on the safety squints. Now we'll stick it in the steam hole. Alright, now if you blow down each hole, the air should freely go in and come out and blow a little rust out, okay? You're not going to get all that rust out unless you completely gut the block and boil that out. This one, honestly, is cleaning up better than I thought it would. So. Alright, next thing I'm going to do, I've got a tap holder here with a very old tap that I believe... My dad made a flat tap out of it, ground it off, rounded it really nice. So it was in his stuff, so there we go. Um, then I'm just going to use some WD-40. We're not cutting threads here. We're just trying to clean them. But I just want, I want to do two at a time here and let them soak. We just want... To not do it dry, right? See how nice and easy that started? It's not going hard until it gets right to the bottom, okay? Then you just back her out. I've seen people put uh, on different Model T videos, put that in the drill. That's not for me. So, remember which one we did? We did that one. Okay. We're going to take the air, blow off the tap, stick it in that hole. That started really nice. Like I said, I'm not hardly putting any pressure at all. And it just stops ever so nice. That's how you know you got the gunk out.
Okay, folks, we have one here that's being a little stubborn. Always got that one. It's turning sort of hard. We're not taking any metal, okay? It is just carbon. Burnt oil. So you just go a little ways. And then let's flush her out a little. Where we've been, see, goes super easy, one finger. And then we'll also watch the depth of our tap here to know that we're not fighting the bottom, okay? Right now it's turning kind of stiff again. Sometimes you can rock them back and forth, then back her out. Just take your time. It, uh, let's take our drill bit. See what we got in there. Just a lot of, a lot of schmutz. I'm going to really make a mess here. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but the darkness is starting to turn to thunder. Well, I really go for an ACDC song right now. I really wish a person could just play the radio. You know, playing music and not get copyright struck or have to pay. There, we reached the bottom for every blessed thing. Just, just good old fashioned radio. Then I wouldn't babble quite so much. Gosh, what would happen if I sang? YouTube channel banned for strange noises. No, because we took our time, that one turned out okay. All right, back to hyperspeed.
All right, there we go. Got all the holes, the threads cleaned out. Um, I'm gonna reset a few things here. Pick out a few more things that I need. Um, of course, we're gonna wash all those holes out, brake cleaner, stand the motor up when we do the cleaning. Uh, so we uh, discovered that the lift cam was okay as far as visual. We will do a height measurements on each lobe. Uh, just general height, to be honest with you. If they're all within a few thousands, they're fine for what this is. Um, race motor, nope, not so much. Um, but uh, we'll uh, get things ready here to clean up. So we did the head bolt holes. We are getting ready to do the reaming of the valve guides and reaming of the lifter bores. Um, and then also something, we'll take a look at the threads on the intake exhaust, they're usually okay. Probably do a little more cleaning in the, in the ports here with a round wire brush. Might even put it in a die grinder. Just never know, or drill, probably drill. And then uh, we have to blow out the oil funnel and tube that comes up here to the main. We have to remember to do that. Other than the water outlet on the side, We've pretty well got all the gasket surfaces cleaned up, so we will blow out the oil tube and then we will do a general cleaning. And then we'll uh, completely reset and get ready to do valve guides and lifter boards. All right, that's enough for right now. I'll reset and we'll be back. You know, and by the way, it's thundering like crazy outside, so I think it's about time to head to the house. See ya.